it's a wet January day today. It's not extra cold, it's warmed up a little bit, but it sure does make me wish for I don't even know if my words come out right. I think some of the cats have knocked down my containers. Yes, I fed y'all. Yes, I did. But everything looks so bleak in the winter time. And all we can do is think of spring. So many of y'all are suffering so much more drastic. And I feel for all of you, the deep, the snow and the storms that hit Florida, the snow that's up north. Hi, D. My companion's here. Hi, D. But uh, while I'm trying to recoup a little bit, I did go to the doctor yesterday, and I'll tell you more about that in another video. I thought I'd take us back to summer. I have a video about my garden back in the summer, and after you watch it, decide for yourself. Do you think I will grow another garden this year? Huh? You think I'll grow another garden this year? Do you? And I appreciate y'all so much. I'm with uh, a day in July and how my garden was doing. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today. Wasn't going to have makeup and stuff on, <laughs> but I got to take off. And may have to take off earlier than I thought I was. So I thought I'd bring you out here. And uh, I don't remember... What day I come out and collected five cucumbers, but when I came out and watered this morning, I noticed I had to at least missed one or two that day. And I think I've got some I may want to pick for pickles. Today's uh, July 29th. I don't believe that that was a new pickle. I think that one was here the day I pulled the five. And maybe I just didn't see it, or maybe it was just too small. I'll have to look back on my own video. Like I said, I don't remember. Uh, same here. Gotta get that one. Those aren't quite ready. I'm thinking about, look at there. You see what I see over here? Surely I didn't miss all them the other day. I tell you, they hide. Oh, and I see a Mexican beetle and a, some squash bugs. And I just sprayed neem oil a couple of days ago. I think it was a couple of days ago. Those are your friends, the bees. I'll be back. I'm gonna get take care of this and get those cucumbers. I have found a couple of more of these larvae. It's Mexican, and I believe it's moving, look. Mexican beetle larva. And I've just been getting them off my plants. Kind of keeping the bugs at bay, but I don't know how anybody does it with big gardens. I really don't. Because it takes me forever. And they need to get a motel too, see? They mate. And this is after neem oil. But it could be worse. I do know that from last year. And so far, I've collected <laughs> that many cucumbers on July 29th. And look at here. Look what I see. I know I would have had a missed it. Look. Look how big. Look how big. I try to keep them from getting that big. Let's see. Sometimes those larvae will be underneath the leaves. But I'm getting plenty of cucumbers. I'll see another one I can get back here. I'll keep going until I get ready to start another part of the garden. It's starting to get brunch time here, and I went up on the hill and fed all the critters and all that. But I sat the hydrogen peroxide out here, and I put eight tablespoons to a gallon of water to try to treat the fungus. If I'm not mistaken, these are the leaves I sprayed. Let me see if I can get it back off. 
think these are the leaves I sprayed, and as you can see, they're quite green. On the other hand, I trimmed up a bunch the other day, and look. Yeah. Terrible. And plus, we had rainstorms. Oh, I see a tomato decide to fall off. But I've got some tomatoes to pick, some tomato plants to shore back up. I brought some strip ties out, and I want to get a few more of these diseased leaves off. Not that it's going to help it. See, I've got to stake my pepper plant back up. Look at these peppers. And I get to harvest okra today. I have three little okra. And I'm going to harvest those today. And maybe some of the bigger green tomatoes. I don't know yet. And I got to check on these because I'm thinking those weren't green bells. I think they were something else. And they're beautiful peppers. I don't know whether to pull them yet or not. So I got to get a tablespoon of Dawn dishwashing liquid for my hydrogen peroxide mixture because it's supposed to help it stay on the leaves. And, uh... I'll do that later this evening after the sun goes down. But for now, I'm just going to be focused in here. Well, I'll let you watch me pull my first okra. How's that? <laughs> I've never grown okra before. My sister did, and she grew beautiful okra. I guess I need to take my scissors. I hope. I'm not cutting too early. I don't know. These aren't my right scissors, but they were the ones sitting there. <laughs> I think it's going to take both hands. Hang on. <laughs> Look, I'm with that. Went ahead and collected the okra. I'm not too sure if I did it too late or too early. I'll just have to wait and see, but at least nothing ate it before I can. I'm going to keep going. Hi, little one. Hear my hand on the hill? I don't know what she's done unless she's telling me she laid an egg because I checked and everything's good. But because of so much damage to the fungus, I went and got all these tomatoes because I knew the stems probably couldn't hold them up. I'm going to give these another day or two. I cut that much out. Put Dawn dishwashing liquid in with my hydrogen peroxide mix. I'm going to see there's a damaged leaf right there. Let me see. So, hopefully in a couple of days I'll come back out and see if that's the only one on this side. Plus, I went ahead and sprayed down here. I don't know what's growing, not growing. Went in the house to find a different pair of shears just to find that pair on the ground. But this looks like it may not come back this tomato plant it fell over broke i think there might be some tomatoes on it i don't know this one right here i'm gonna pull i think these are the tea delicious but i'm gonna try to straighten this mess up and then i'm gonna spray this side while I decide what to do with this pitiful tomato plant, maybe it was meant for them to thin out in here. Look, that one's pitiful, too. This one is a big mess of a jungle. It's got the tea delicious, and some of it's wrapped up into this one, and then some of this one, I think, is wrapped up into this one. <laughs> and then... These from over here that weren't beefsteak, look how they're rottening. So I have to get them pulled off. And part of them have fell over this way. They got to go back up. So I'll just, <laughs> look, I'll just bring you back when I get this side done. Well, that one, <laughs> J 
just told me. Go ahead and pull us and strip ties because we're not going to stay up. I caught it in my peripheral well, vision. Well, I just added. I didn't put it in there yet, did I? Where is it at? Right here. I just cut one off. And that's going to be added to my tomatoes. It's a, uh, what is it? It's the yellow one. Whatever the yellow one is. <laughs> uh, lemon something, I think. But anyway, I'll probably go ahead and pull that one today because it looks like it's ripe. That one's ripening. I, I did the best I could in here. This plant went to here and I thought well I might as well leave it but then it's curling out into here see it so I don't know what I'm gonna do on the other side but since the sun hasn't hit on this side and I put Dawn dishwashing liquid in I'm gonna go ahead and spray I've been spraying for the fungus I'm gonna cut that out still got to spray up here but when I got the camera, look at these. What kind of tomatoes are they? They're in clusters, and they were supposed to be beefsteak, but they're not. I see one down on the ground. So I'm sure, and look at all the ripe ones. I'm going to go check the ripe ones out, and if these are big enough, I may go ahead and take them out. See, look. Got more in there. Oh, me, you need to get back. Look at the clusters. I'll see if I can find a different tag other than beefsteak. It might be them. But they're not beefsteak. I came around and I pulled two tomatoes and all these little tomatoes. This particular vine still looks pretty good. I see a leaf right there, but I think I'll leave it so when I spray, I'm going to see if it's spread. And I know I have to go back over there and pull those, but I think I'm going to leave these. I might leave that leaf and cut that one. It's a learning curve this year. I'm trying to stay on top of stuff a little bit better. That's got to be straightened out. And... This is another, whatever these tomatoes are right here, they want to go whichever way they want to go. They are heavy. So, I got to figure out what to do with them. A lot of them slid off the poles. I should have used strip ties, but I didn't. So, I'm going to go over and finish the other side. Bring the bucket over, put those in it, and figure out this one bed. Yeah, it's a mess. This okra, I don't know if it even looks like it's trying to produce a bloom. But maybe if I get a couple of leaves out of its way, it might. And I've got another one right there. There should be another one down there. Moving this plan over, open this up. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this bond it goes around and up that way and it goes down and around that way so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with it i know i'm gonna pull some more tomatoes i'm i probably since i've been robbing some of the bigger ones i'll probably leave that one on but i may get that one I just thought I'd show you. I've got a mess going on. I think I'll leave that one leaf down there as something to tell me whether this fungal solution's working. Like I said, they said you don't have to take them off. I'm actually taking them off to try to free up some uh, air, quality air too, so. I think my going. husband was amazed at my produce today. Were you amazed? I would. I was, wow. Last time he seen me, I, and you did, I was a little more polished. But I'm going to call it quits for now because I think tomato's ready for brunch. Are you ready for brunch? He's shaking his head mm -hmm. yes. 
I need a break in a break. What I can say, a break. I need a breakthrough in coffee. So I got tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. I don't know what these are. Tomatoes, maybe. They look like big old grapes. And cucumbers on the bottom. And I'll show you where I left off when I go back out. I can't see. Okay. Oh my. I appreciate y'all so much for supporting my channel. I, I, I don't even call it a channel. We're friends. It's just my way of communicating with you all. Uh, you do the best you can when you're not feeling good. And I don't want you to think I forgot about you. <laughs> my cats haven't forgot about me. But uh, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow night. So until next time, we'll talk soon.